This is Macy, a four-year-old tortoiseshell cat. She has a random pattern of two colors on her coat, black brown and reddish brown. Her coat pattern is unique to her, but why is this? She will show you how her phenotype is affected by X inactivation and sex-linked inheritance. In order to understand Macy's coat pattern, we must first examine her genotype. The gene for coat color is found on the X chromosome. The uppercase B allele produces black pigment, and the lowercase B allele produces yellow-orange pigment. Macy has a copy of the uppercase B allele and the lowercase B allele. She is a heterozygous female. Let's meet Macy's friend Daisy. Daisy has the same genotype as Macy and has a tortoiseshell coat pattern, but their patterns of colors are different. Why is this? Because Macy is a female, she has two X chromosomes. The Lyon hypothesis states that, in order to prevent double gene expression, one X chromosome in each cell is randomly inactivated during development, becoming a bar body. This explains Macy's unique tortoiseshell pattern. In some parts of her coat, we see that the X with the lowercase b allele is inactivated, making the fur in that area black-brown. In other parts of her coat, we see that the X with the uppercase B is inactivated in these cells, making the fur in that area yellow-orange. The X chromosome that is inactivated is random, explaining the difference in color patterns on each coat. Now let's meet Macy's breeder. She comes from a family-owned breeder in Raleigh known as Capital City Cats. More and more people want tortoiseshell cats, and the owners are trying to produce more. The breeders mate a short-haired, yellow female cat with a long-haired black male cat. This is what the genotype of the cross will look like. We can predict the proportions of each trait by making Punnett squares. From doing so, we find that all females will have tortoiseshell coats, and all males will have yellow coats. Half of the progeny will have long hair, and half of the progeny will have short hair. Using these ratios, we can construct a branch diagram. Our progeny will have a 1 to 1 to 1 to 1 ratio of each possible phenotype. As explained before, the two tortoiseshell females from this litter will not look exactly alike due to X inactivation. The X chromosome that is inactivated in each cell is random, and certain patches of each coat will be different colors depending on the allele on the X chromosome that does not become a bar body. Thanks to our genetic analysis, the breeders were able to produce a litter with half tortoiseshell females.